Hi everyone, welcome back. Now look at percentages. I have found over the years a lot of students, even those very capable at their math, still don't really understand what percentages are. I do like to make up these little grids. I make lots of them and I give them to my classes and get them to look at the colouring and see what it is. If I've got 10 squares by 10 squares, all together I've got 100 squares. So really simple in concept, if I've got 100 squares, I've basically split that one big square up into 100 small squares. If I colour one of those squares in, that's called 1%. I'm actually going to start at the bottom here as percentage, and that's 1%. Because it is, now what's the words that are going to come out of my mouth? The 1% is 1 out of a, out of 100. And if you're used to your decimal places, a lot of people aren't from primary school, people will keep forgetting what's going on. For example, if you had 0.1, that would be 1 tenth. If you had 0.01, that's 1 out of 100. And of course, if you had 0.001, that's 1 out of 1,000. So we're talking about, for those who keep forgetting their decimals, one decimal place means we're talking about tenths, or you've got one zero. Two decimal places means you're talking about hundredths or you've got two zeros. Three decimal places means you're talking about thousandths or you're talking about three zeros. So let's apply that to this. One coloured square out of a hundred is one percent. That means the same as one out of a hundred. And then if we write it as a decimal, it's 0 0.01. So there's is that one percent that we can use in questions later on. So three possible ways of writing 1%. You can always write out 1%, you can write it as 1 over 100, and you write it as 0 0.01. So I want to use that in the questions that are coming up in the next couple of videos. So on this one, if I look at the coloured section, I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and I've got 6%, because I've got 6 of those out of 100. Now I wonder historically whether it's something to do with, I don't know where the symbol comes from, I should research it, see if I can find out what it is. It's almost like you've got a 100 written there, so it's 6 out of 100, that's 6%. So if I write that as a fraction, I've got a 6 out of 100. And if you looked at it here, you can see it's 6 out of the total number, which is 100. And then if I'm writing it as decimal, two decimal places means two zeros. So two zeros means I'm going to have two decimal places. And that's the basic idea. So when I do questions in the next video, we have a choice if it was 6% of writing 0.06 or 6 out of 100. If it was 1%, I'd have a choice of writing 0.01 or 1 out of 100. Now there's more that comes, but that's more about the fractions. But I will mention on this one, with percents, when the percentages are even, see that one's an even number there, 2, 4, 6. If the top's even, it means the bottom is automatically even if it's 100. So you can halve the top, so half of six is three, and half of a hundred, some of you might have trouble with that, most people will be okay with saying 50. I could go if I wanted to, I do like the peekaboo method, if I cover over that zero, so it's half of 10, and that's the five, and there's an extra zero. So when you've got an even percentage, you can simplify it, sometimes you can simplify it again if they're even numbers. So now I'm going to go some videos where I'm going to use that concept of percent to do some real life calculations. If you're enjoying it, please, uh, really important to press like and subscribe. If you could help me get to a thousand subscribers, that would be great. Thank you.